What a tremendous man. Well, NASA's robotic explorer MAVEN is due to blast off Monday on a 10-month journey to the Red Planet. And uh, once there, it will orbit Mars and study the atmosphere to try to understand how that planet morphed from warm and wet to cold and dry. For this and other space news, Andrew Fizek is the night sky guy and an astronomy expert with National Geographic links up with us from Montreal. Andrew, good morning. Great to see you. Tell us more about Monday's launch and the mission to Mars. Yeah, I mean, this is a really interesting mission. Uh, MAVEN is really a, a probe. It's an orbiter, so it's not going to be landing on Mars. It'll take about 10 months to get there. And what's, what the mission is really about is to look at the atmosphere of Mars. There's a lot of mystery surrounding the, the climate, the weather patterns on Mars, and not just the ones that are there today, but uh, going back billions of years in the past, because our current theories say that Mars once was much more Earth-like, had a had a, a habitable environment, and we we're, we're seeing that from thanks to the to the Curiosity rover discovering that there was water flowing on the surface, and that the habitat uh, there was conducive for life at one point. So, what happened on Mars? What happened to the environment that's cre made it from an Earth-like planet to a barren world that we see today? Uh, MAVEN is going to help solve that that mystery. Could be kind of chilling to think the implications of anything that we may be doing here on Earth may lead to the <laughs> Martian environment someday here on Earth. Yeah, and, and, and what's interesting here, Brad, is that uh, we'll be able to use the models that we uh, to, about the atmosphere of Mars uh, to, to understand better what's happening with the climate change here on Earth, because we're undergoing a, 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 some form of a climate change yeah. here. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But that's already happened on Mars, a natural occurrence, it looks like, maybe billions of years ago. But what went wrong on the red planet? And this mission is going to help understand that and understand our, our own world better. Well, let's talk about what went right on the Cassini spacecraft that has uh, returned uh, some just amazing pictures of Saturn and uh, even of the Earth this week. That's right. Uh, this is a, a just you know, one of the, the absolute picture postcards that I think that's ever been sent back from a, from a space probe exploring our solar system. It's, of course, of the, the ring giant Saturn, which sits 1.2 billion kilometers away. And the Cassini probe has been orbiting, circling the Saturn system for a number of years now. And it's taken this beautiful family portrait of not just of Saturn, but of our own planet and our neighbors that are in the inner solar system, like Venus and Mars, as well in this picture. You can see them pointed out as little little dots. And the Sun is basically hidden by planet Saturn. And that's what's allowed us to take this expansive picture that stretches some, some 400,000 kilometers across. And I think it's one of the most iconic images that we've seen in recent years. It really is amazing. We always learn so many amazing things when we talk to you each week at this time. Andrew Fazekas, known as the Night Sky Guy, astronomy expert with the National Geographic as well. Andrew, such a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, my friend. Same to you. Clear skies. You too.